Well, the Kerr County Sheriff's Department is facing a potential $5 million lawsuit. This comes after a former deputy alleges that she suffered from misconduct while working at the sheriff's office. Eyewitness News reporter Leslie Valle joins us now with the details of this. Leslie? Yes, Rochelle, the former deputy named a number of KCSO employees, including Sheriff Donna Youngblood. Now I took a look at the extensive claim on what the sheriff's office and the employees are being accused of. But before we share more information, we want to warn viewers it may be distressing for some. A former Kern County Sheriff's Office deputy filed a claim on August 29th, naming many Kern County Sheriff's employees, including Sheriff Donnie Youngblood, of physical and verbal abuse. The Sheriff's Department facing a potential $5 million lawsuit. Eyewitness News doesn't normally disclose the name of sexual assault victims unless they come forward themselves. So we're choosing not to name her in our current reporting. The former deputy claims she went through a decade of abuse as it all started back in 2013 up until May of this year. In the formal claim, she states she was subjected to a pattern of physical and verbal abuse, including being forcibly sexually assaulted and battered by several members of the Kern County Sheriff's Department. On top of the abuse, she also stated she was subjected to a hostile work environment based on sex and gender, at one point forced to engage in sexual acts against her will. She states she developed depression and anxiety from the abuse. After bringing these claims to light within the department, the deputy stated she experienced retaliation and that no one was punished for their misconduct. The deputy also claims she was finally then demoted and placed on administrative leave. Now we did reach out to the Kern County Sheriff's Office and they told us the Sheriff's Office cannot comment on pending litigation. If you or anyone is experiencing sexual assault or harassment, you can call the Sexual Assault and Harassment Hotline and that number can be found at the bottom of your screen. In Studio B, Leslie Valle, Eyewitness News.